Hey everyone, it's Ed with Slow Car Fix. Uh, I needed a tool um, to remove axle yokes from Corvair axles. The axle yokes look like this. To remove it from a Corvair axle. And uh, there's a couple of different manufacturers that make the tool. Some, the parts supplier that I deal with all the time uh, makes a tool. Uh, they're not very good. I've had them. Uh, not real happy. Uh, I've also done the crude version where you just hammer it off the end of the, the splined axle. It's not fun either. So a friend of mine uh, does laser cutting. He has a laser table and he uh, cut me some pieces. So I'll show you guys what I came up with. So this is some of the stuff that Brian does with Custom Create. Okay, so I'm back from Brian's and this is all the pieces that he made. So we've got a couple of different sections, of course, slow car fix. Had to throw a touch, personalized touch in there. What we did was we've got this axle, this spline, try not to make you dizzy, sits on this axle. And the problem is when this is in the car, you can't remove this end with any kind of puller or anything. So this is on there. It's supposed to be. There you go. So that's on there. And that sits in this hole. And the problem is you have to remove this yoke to be able to remove this axle to replace those bearings. So what we came up with was we wanted something that this little end here will go up against a control arm. And we went, you know, that depth um, with two plates. We did it in layers of plates because uh, that's what he had for stock for material and it kind of worked out for the design anyways. So that one would go like that. This one would go like this on the top. Now, this is the end result. This has been sandblasted, welded and sandblasted. So he cut these dimples in here so I could weld across. So when, when this is layered like that, I can weld right across there and join all the pieces together. So what you end up with is this slick little puller. This goes through the uh, spline or through the holes on the where the U-joint U-straps go. This pushes against the axle and it pulls itself 
off of the axle. So I'll show you what it looks like on, uh, on my wagon because I need to remove the ones on the wagon. And uh, I'm going to make a few more of these and a couple of my friends want them. So should be a pretty good tool to have around the shop. Okay, if you haven't watched my other videos, now's the time to check them out um, on this uh, very sad wrecked wagon. Um, this is my 62 Corvair wagon that I restored and unfortunately got T-boned in. So anyways, I'm uh, taking parts off of it. One of the things I'm going to take off is my new rebuilt axle bearings. And I'm going to try out my new tool. And you can see what I'm talking about here, that the axle uh, will not come out unless that yoke is removed. So what holds that yoke on is a bolt and a washer and then this is on a spline. So we need to remove the bolt, install my puller, the little end of the puller can either go in this slot or go against the bottom of the control arm. Crank on it with a inch and an eighth wrench and that should pop right off. So, as I mentioned, you need to lose this. Now, on a good clean car, you should be able to not just knock this off the hammer, but more often than not, you're gonna need some sort of tool. Oh well, I'm not even uh, having to use a wrench. So you can see it bites on this control arm. There you go. Yoke removed. Okay, so that was successful. I'm quite happy. Uh, special thanks to Brian at uh, customcreate.ca, www.customcreate.ca. Uh, he does all kinds of signs and personalized stuff and you name it, he can cut it. And uh, he's uh, quite good at uh, realizing your... Um, your ideas. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Talk to you soon.